Baz Lashon. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Per how, hey, how you pronounce the company Franklin. name? It's a uh, Paisan. Paisan. Okay, so like yes, sir. Like uh, like the mob Paisan. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, it's Italian for fellow countryman or friend. Exactly, exactly. That's what's up, man. All right. Um, <laughs> how you, you doing? I'm doing all right. You you guys are a Petro, uh, petroleum tanker, so you guys deal with fuel, or is, is there more divisions that you guys offer? Uh, yeah, so we are a 100% uh, crude oil and condensate transportation refineries and pipelines, and from there it goes and uh, gets turned into fuel and other additives, so on and so forth. All right. Would this, would this require hazmat? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So, so you do need your you do need your tankers and your hazmat, right? That's correct. Yeah. Very, all right. Very good. Can you tell me a little bit more about the company and how long you guys been in existence? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So we've been around since 2012. Um, we started out as a little two truck operation, and we were directly in western Oklahoma. Um, since then, we've been everywhere from the Rockies down in the Permian Basin, Midland, Odessa area, South Texas, mm -hmm. um, and we've been specifically up in Ohio uh, oh, okay. for the last, I want to say, six, seven years. Okay. I'm, I'm from Ohio. Okay. That's what's up. Our hazmat and our tanker. So how much experience do you guys require? So our team would need to be able to verify at least one year of driving trailers um, and at least six months of hauling liquid bulk in a tanker trailer. Okay. Um, don't necessarily need to have crude oil specifically. We can help train on that, mm -hmm. um, but we would need we would need to verify at least that six months in a, in a tanker. All right. What's the uh, what will be the now? Let me ask you this. My next question: uh, the starting pay is that across the board no matter how much experience you have or is it or is it based on percentage or or cent per mile um so let me ask you this real quick are you an owner operator or are you a driver driver okay so um i will tell you that we are entirely 100 percent independent contractor base we okay. have owner operators that want to bring drivers into their trucks Okay. Um, majority of the guys that I have hiring, they're paying out 30 to 35% of gross on a week scale. You're looking at anywhere from 18 to $2,200. Okay. 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 Now being that, now being that you guys are, uh, are 100% owner operators, as far as owner operators, what, what are you looking for as far as their truck, uh, as far as the equipment goes? Like, is there any specific so I, years that they need to keep up their trucks or anything like that to come on with you? Yeah, so we can take any truck that is 2000 or newer, and it has to be rigged out to haul crude oil. It's um, You would need a PTO and a wet kit. Um, and they have the, the most common ones that I see, are, they're called the Hydra Packs mm -hmm. or the Thermaflows. And they connect to your uh, transmission. They have ones that are for 10 speeds, 13 speeds, and uh, so on and so forth. But that helps engage the trailer pump and loads the product and offloads the product. Okay, okay. Now, as far as now, as far as you guys being like 100% uh, um, owner operator, and you already explained what you're looking for on their on their trucks. What are you what are you looking for as far as the owner operator goes? What what type of credentials that he needs to come on with you guys? He would need the, the same things as a driver. We would have to have that one year of tractor trailer and at least six months of liquid bulk in a tank. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then I mean if they have the, if they have the crude oil and condensate hauling experience, that's just a benefit. Um but I mean, where where we could take just that one year and then the six months. All right. So this is uh this is lease is is this the lease on with you guys? Is is am, am I saying that right? Um, uh, like like I mean, about as far as the owner operator coming on with you, 
uh, is he's leasing on to you to use your authority? Correct, correct. They would be under our authority running with us. They don't have to have um, their own authority. Oh, okay. Now, let me ask you this. Do you guys offer a lease purchase or leasing or anything like that? Uh, unfortunately, at this time, you either have to run with someone who has a truck or they would have to have their own truck. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. The only, yeah, the only thing that we provide is trailers. If they don't have a trailer, they can lease one of ours. Okay. Uh, now, as far as now, as far as the owner operators go, uh, and le and and coming on using you guys' authority, would they be able to? Uh, would they be able to choose their? Would they be able to choose their loads from a load board, or would one of your dispatchers dispatch it to them? So we have um, a multitude of customers out in Ohio. We plan out loads that are based around a driver's area. That way. A, there's minimal deadhead. They're not having to. Um, and we send out dispatches the day before. That way, our drivers know exactly what they're going to be doing. And if they have any questions or concerns, they can reach out. So everybody will know. It's not It's not like a, like a low board re-sign on and you find a load that you want. Okay, okay. Now, of course, you already told me about, you know, the, the owner operators and their percentages to the drivers. But what will be the average percentage to the owner operator? Um, so that's broken down. We don't pay percentage pay. Um, it's broken down into mileage brackets and it's, that's paid per barrel. So um, our trailers hold anywhere from 205 barrels to 210 barrels. And depending on what the mileage is and what customer you're on, you'd be paid accordingly for that. Um, I will say that for the owner operators, they are grossing anywhere from, I want to say, a thousand to thirteen hundred per day. Okay, okay, and that'll be enough to take care take care of their drivers per week. Now, what about what about that? What about the payout? Like, is is they paid out every week, every two weeks? How how are their settlements is settled? So, owner operators are paid out weekly from us. Um, the Pay frequency is established between the driver and the owner operator. To my knowledge, all of the drivers right now are getting paid weekly. I don't know of any people that are getting bi-weekly or once a month, anything oh. like that. Okay. How now? Let me ask you something. Now you now you explain to me how you know the criteria goes for the owner operators to come in. Uh, do they got to go through uh, like a orientation with you guys and all like that? Correct. Correct. It's a one day remote orientation. Um, we jump on a video call and we have a, uh, an, a PowerPoint that all of our team members here in the office will go through it. You'll meet with your fleet manager too. They'll go over some operational standards. And then um, once you're past that, you're just onboarding and getting your documents set up. And then you would meet with the fleet manager out in the field and you would start calling or training with an owner operator that way. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, as far as, as far as us, the drivers, we go through you guys, right? As far as onboarding goes, or do we go through the owner operators and go through their onboarding? Uh, so you would go through us. Um, we would start your application process, get you vetted, um, and get you through a phone screening. From there, we would pair you with one of our owner operators. We have multiple. Um, that way you guys are able to build a connection and, um, you know, work out some details in regards to pay and scheduling and what it is that you're looking for. Um, but everything from qualifications and vetting, you would have to meet our hiring criteria and insurance criteria uh, to get on. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, bro, thank you very much for reaching out to me. Uh, I really do appreciate it. This give me a little bit more uh, insight on uh, on the owner operator side of things of, you know, what companies out there that's that's looking for in in this position. You're looking for guys with with trucks to come on and uh, and help you guys with your uh, supply chain. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I would definitely. Uh, I do know of well one two three 
I do know a few owner operators out here. I'm not sure the I'm not sure the age or their trucks or anything like that. But I definitely will pass this on to them. Uh, you guys is located out of Oklahoma, right? Correct, correct. And specifically in Ohio, we have a field of volume that I'm trying to get people on. Um, it's based out of the Sio Carrollton area. If you're familiar where that's at, yeah. just south of uh, Akron. Yeah, and, I'm, I'm um, familiar with that. Perfect. All right. So well, specifically, I'll, there, all of the. Uh, oh, go ahead. Well, what well, I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Oh, um, well, specifically with this work, I have a new well that's coming online, and it's a nine mile haul from pickup to drop off, and guys are going to be able to do four to five turns per day. All of the other pads that I have in this field are less than 20 miles and they all offload directly in SIO. Um, so it's really good for the guys who are around that area because for the most part, they're able to get home every night. Mm -hmm. um, and then also with the low mileage, you're not spending as much in fuel and time and maintenance and um, the roads are pretty dang good. So your truck's not getting beat up either. Um, and that's what I'm that's what I'm really trying to get people out for because we need some help with that. No problem. No problem. Well, what I'll do, like I said, I'll take this information back with me to my network of drivers and uh, and my social media outlet. And I'll let them know what you guys is looking for and pass the information on to them. And uh, hopefully it'll hopefully it'll work out for you. Well, perfect. I appreciate it. And I'm happy that I got to talk to you. This is my direct line. So if any of them have any additional questions or yourself included, you know, feel free to give me a shout, text, what have you. Not a problem. I will do that. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, thank you. Bye-bye.